with my research and ready to stop, but I had this voice in my head of all the players and builders out there who have thought about electric guitar a certain way for much longer than I have, and that seeing a 2x4 plank guitar still might not be a grand enough gesture to push past deeply rooted beliefs, so I went even farther for one last test. This is the air guitar. I made it out of a bench and a shelf. My dad made the bench in 1990 for repairing motorcycles. The shelf is upside down sitting on two chairs and weighted down with a pair of Honda engines. The ends of the shelf are braced against the bench with 2x4s so the strings don't pull the shelf closer to the bench when tuned up. The headstock is a piece of wood with tuners put in it. The nut is the bottom half of a metal locking nut meant to go the Floyd Rose type bridge. 25 and a half inches away are the steel saddles on the steel top-loaded bridge with a Seymour Duncan vintage stack mounted in the plate and all of that screwed into the bench. The pickup is wired to a disembodied tele control plate with a 250k volume pot. This is wired to a jack and a guitar cable goes from the jack straight to my combo amp. The air guitar was tuned to open D and so was my Anderson tele. I matched their pickup heights and strummed an open chord on both multiple times on the same spot on the strings. Yeah, the air guitar sounds deep and airy. Why? Because he's using an industrial grade desk to haul the plate and the strings are in open air. It's adjusted to your liking to get the tone. Ignore you this for now. Chances are you'll get a guitar nerd or a music lover. You know, I mean, why are we even here? Like, what are we even doing? We're playing guitar because it's playing guitar. It's having fun, not tearing apart somebody's tone, right? And so that's why I think... So it's you to... are tearing apart a group of people and hating on them because... Pick up. Pick up distance to strings. Pick up position along the strings. Pick up slant angle. An effective volume pop value. Okay, we're going to stop it right there because uh, I think to get his kind of final view on all of this, you should go watch the rest of his video. There's just a couple of minutes left of it. Okay, so audio quality, video quality might have been a little different on that one just because the way we have to record and screen share and all that stuff, I do it through my live streaming software. So anyway, so let's chat about this a little bit. First of all, let's go through some of the the changes that he made that were very, very subtle. So we start talking about uh, peg head size. We start talking about stuff in the neck pocket, which was fantastic. He put bubble wrap in the neck pocket. Can you hear a difference between those two things? I did. If you watch it over and over, you could probably start to pick out stuff. I didn't like, need to. On a $100 TV like, out of a fire yeah, stick. Totally not. I mean, it's fine. It's totally fine. Um, if then the other thing that people are going to get into is, well, yeah, but he wasn't playing clean. His guitar was, his amp was always a little bit dirty, which it was. He, he was playing, playing clean guitar, and it was, his it was, but amp was only dirty similar, when he turned uh, it on dirty. Pickup. Those are hit, a, hit an amp really, really Especially hard. when he did their guitar. A hundred watt amp or a 50 watt like his amp. His clean tone was way. pretty clean. It's going to be tough to get that 100%. Like it wasn't anyway. sweet like a Fender or Roland. Right. It doesn't matter at all. I mean, it wasn't so sweet like Fender Roland's to pretty clean. Roland's the cleanest you can get. With a, was a so clean that it's dry. Overdrive. And everybody's like, yeah, well, it all sounds the same once you put overdrive to it. People say that all the time. I think it's a bunch of it crap. It didn't. Because it's how you really play the guitar. You don't says you a guy on the internet, talking. not anyone. Well, yes, he has more subscribers than me, but that's not how I play guitar. I saw I made my Jackson JS22 into an ambient machine with clean tones mostly, with mid on the tone knob, mid on volume, out of a Fender Deluxe clone and sim. And out of a Fender Deluxe uh, 
a micro-amp. Also notice the guitars in, in, in also no, also when I do the guitar, it sounds different with different amps. And we know they're on the same computer. And my amps on my computer sound different than other people's amps on their computer, trying to be the same amps that are in real life. Well that's a discussion for another time that's about amps and amps and also are used uh synthetic synths. Did, like is the original OG digital synth can you replicate that ever in a replica digital synth or in its or in software and I don't think so either because it's, it's still different. In a lab. You play it on a stage. You play it in the studio. You play it and and you make a sound that you like. That's fair, but you're hating on people for enjoying the chase of the sound. You literally despise a group of people because they're genetically different than you, that you understand. If that's not racist, I don't know what is. If that's not hate, I don't know what sound is. sound like another guitar. It doesn't, if you have two guitars that sound exactly the same, you should just have one guitar. There's no point in making two guitars sound exactly the same. Sure, but that's what you're saying. You want them to be the same. You want the air guitar to sound the same as the... Uh, you want the air guitar to sound the same as... The, uh, as the cheap Chinese guitar that's been upgraded. To be the same as the air guitar. You want them to sound the same... Because you're hearing it sound the same... Because you're, you're genetically different than me who's perfect pitch. You have more training than I do. Why are you so hateful? But for the scientific purposes of this, he's trying to do it. I imagine, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I would imagine that he's trying, he structured those tests in the way that he is comfortable playing and kind of what his sound is, what his ear hears. Like that's probably his basic clean tone. Is that it, it is, that's true. Uh, but also, he could have done their guitar a lot better. Let's go back to that clip. He put it on an industrial grade desk. The heck is that going to do with vibrations? Like, yeah, that's going to kill all your vibrations. And guess what's getting picked up in the strings? That's going into, that's transmitting signal into the, into the thing. In, into the, uh, into the pickup. If he put it on a pillow even, or even just had some rubber there, that would be different. It would probably just sound completely airy, as he would isolate all the vibration away from the away from the desk, holding it down. Same with the head. The head should also be on a pillow or something, to hold it up uh, from the industrial grade desk, so it can move and vibrate. You will get more air out of that. You will get more airiness out of that. Um... And another thing you could have done is is have the pickup just be free floating, on uh, again on on like some string or something, or just have it all be on string. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. You have it all be on string. You have string on string because you can. A string guitar, and you just have and pickup on string with some wires going straight to a. Going straight to an uh, going straight to a output. And do this, and do the same with, and if you want to do this, if you want to play, replicate the same test with the OP air guitar, you would do that with the, uh, you would do that with the, uh, you, you would do, you would have the same setup with the, uh, uh, the cheap Chinese guitar that's been upgraded. Heck, you, you only really need string and a pickup and some wires and an output jack. Technically, if you want to play acoustically, you would just need string and an output. But then you won't be able to hear the output. So yeah, never mind on that. Interesting. Why don't I do that? Why don't I make a string guitar? I'll just need two sets of strings. And a pickup. My my word, that would, <laughs> that would cost like $40. I'll pick up an output jack and some wires. That would still cost like fifty dollars, 
don't get me wrong, I expect you to get quality ones, quality Jackson ones, or another, or a name, or a uh, third party one. Huh. You know what? Those things are slightly more reasonable than my, uh, than my, than my delusional guitar that I've been thinking about. With six pickups on a normal guitar. No, no, no. One pickup on one distortion heavy. Actually, I want to find a pickup that sound that would sound good with airiness, and then just like make and then just like make an isolated box with the strings, so you can move it around and play like a lap still like I normally do. Yeah. I wonder why he didn't do that. No, so this is a, this is a good video. This is the video we're criticizing today, and also what he says in the in the moments really stupid. Car. I mean, I mean, the, the, his entire his entire commentary in this video is either on the right track or it's really stupid. Like he didn't really think about it through, and then he agrees. He didn't think about it through as I wrote this, and then he just said bye. And I'm like, what? Well, I wasn't expecting that. Like, you don't want me as a fan, yet you don't want to defend yourself saying you're hateful. Fender What's F wrong with you? Thing. That's, <laughs> That's not how you gain audience on YouTube. Building. So it's something that he's familiar with. It's his sound, and that's what he was able to find. I don't think that matters. When we start to listen to this stuff, a lot of people are going to be like, I don't, I don't think that matters. Not, not because of the test. I don't think that matters because it doesn't matter for the test. He wasn't going at the cleanest guitar sound, the cleanest guitar sound he could. If he did that, he would just plug it straight into a roll and then be done with it. He didn't. He was going for, does this guitar sound different than this guitar with the same signal chain, with the same player, everything. And it does. Why? Because they're different. There is no other reason why. Again, like with the uh, Sims, which we've kind of already been on this channel, uh, gone on this channel, I think, maybe once or twice. Maybe, maybe not at all, but they're going going with the JD eight hundred. Uh, like personally, I don't own a physical JD eight hundred, and but I have but I have the Roland Cloud version, and I have some knockoff some um some third party version that was free. At least I can play different. At least I can play different on my, and also the third party Cloud version doesn't work anymore, and sounded different on different, and I had it on a different computer, different setup. Much bigger computer, much bigger motherboard, probably much better motherboard for music, for MIDI. And it sounds different than the Rolling Cloud version I used just a few days ago. In fact, we can test that with uh, this playlist, which we need, which, um, yeah. But, but what he says next is really, really stupid. I'll let you listen to him real quick. A little difference between, but we don't listen to music that way. We just don't. You're right, I don't. You do not sit there with headphones, and if if you have, I mean, to be to be fair, I I did do that thing. What you do do that when you want to understand the music, when you want to have, when you want to have, when you want to understand what your heroes are using. That's how I got my JD eight hundred. That's how I got my exception for the JD eight hundred because that's what I used my short game thing with the JD ten oh eight the ten eighty. Uh, Roland Sizers, that's why I like them so much, because they were used in my favorite games. That's why I'm, that's why I'm a metal guitar player, because they were used in my favorite games. A metal guitar player, yeah, and that's why we make my own custom guitar, because they were used by my favorite guy, by my favorite, mus by my uh, hero musician. Uh, oh, uh, I'm blanking on his name. Uh, Kaplachi. Kaplachi. Something to Kaplachi. But anyway. So let's look up one with a... Uh, let's look up a... So I am going to get you some... I was listening to this guy some more. To something so hard. Be like, okay... I think I kind of hear a difference if I... I didn't. Then Why didn't you? you? Hearing a difference? If you plug in a guitar and you're like, ah, oh, that sounds kind of bad. 
sort of like at the beginning when he had the kit guitar with the kit pickup in it with the pickup height all wrong and it was like oh yeah that's a huge there you're hitting on that old guitar wait 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 i don't understand so you're saying you're saying you must have the perfect pickup height or else it sounds bad okay what's the perfect pickup height then you explain that to me, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tongue Guru, who doesn't cool. believe in tone. Right. Obviously, that's going to be where you're going to start to hear those things and where it really makes sense. But it what if you played it well? What if you made it sound good? What if you changed the pickups, even, to something good? What if you changed just the electronics? What if you just set it up or, or you just set it up instead? You can make bad things sound good. You can play music with tin cans. Heck, Elvis became popular because he took junk and made it sound good. I made it junk. I made a million dollars worth of junk. And other people make that sound good. How can you be so hateful to ignore Elvis? The guy who is still insanely popular. He has 5 million subscribers on YouTube. You don't. I don't. Don't hate on Elvis either. Come on. Once it gets to the point where we're so clinical that we have to listen to it with headphones in a controlled environment five times before we can really start to pick something apart, and you're going to be like, well, I did it. don't have the ear. The, the, only, the only time I did that in this video, honestly, is just to get my words correct because I suck with the words. I'm perfect pitch, but I suck with the words. That doesn't mean I'm perfect pitch. Some people believe that, and I also unsubscribe from them. I, I like this guy's video. I like all his other videos, but this one. But honestly, with it, with this kind of attitude, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't follow this guy. You shouldn't anyway. You guys can. You didn't do that to him. You even agree with him. You mean disagree with me? That's fine. Uh, I probably don't want you around here if you're also hateful. But if you don't like, but if you can't hear Tonewood and don't shop for Tonewood guitars. Like I bought, a, I just bought a guitar for forty-two dollars more expensive than my current guitar because it had tone wood, tone amps, tone air, tone everything. All that affects tone, <laughs> probably even the finish does. Like if you have a big poly finish, it's probably going to restrict and sound more dense than a nitro finish that's more looser, that's more airy. That's literally the word. Dense, airy. Mahogany is dense. Poplar is not dense. But it's still not light. So, like, take the Jackson JS11, JS12, JS22. They all sound extremely mid. If tone, wood, if tone wood and other things don't exist, if tone doesn't exist, why? how can it sound so mid compared to other guitars? Why does a Jackson JS22... JS11, JS12 sound any different from each other. And B sound perfectly, uh, sound, sound like Jackson's, at least out of the box. And have, a, uh, essentially, why do they sound different than Alex Paul, different from a, different from a Strat even? They have a very similar shape to a Strat, a bit more modern. Not totally modern, mind you. I think he is not that modern of a shape. Uh, I don't think. Uh, they do get moderner, and they, the modern version, uh, the modern Jackson version of the Les Paul is modern shaped. But no, like, all the Jacksons sound different from each other. I'm pretty sure we're going to be testing that in a second. Um, but anyway, so let's listen to my stuff. Now you can all, I know, hopefully I'll get it in the description as I'll probably upload this really quickly. If I can just find the titles. Let me find something in just the Roland segment. Let's be playing the JS22 for the first time. Oh, no, it's Golden Oldie. Why don't I click on Golden Oldie? I don't need Golden Oldie. Actually, yes, I do need Golden Oldie. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, the rolling sh bit should be around there somewhere unless I really gendered up the stuff. I mean, you're hearing the rolling bit the entire time, but I have it in the mix. Ah, actually, that's even better. 
I know for a fact you're, all, you're hitting the wrong bit right now. That theory or not, the, the ambientness in the background, not the uh, foreground, is the Roland. Uh, let's go over to... Or, to this one. An earlier video using the fake Roland. Oh, this is the new Roland, okay. Wait, hold on. Have I ever used the fake Roland in an actual song before? Uh, this one should be easier. Actually, this one will prove my point. See, the Roland's playing in the background, so using the sex same bits. Yeah, it sounds different. This is on my. This is on. This one's from my boss. Everything, I think. And then And they also use a different presets, so they're not apples to apples, but still. Yeah, this one just sounds clearer. As as it should, it's a much better computer. Like it, it's a, it, it's it, it's the latest top of the line. The last one was the 3090 top of the line era. And this is the 4090 top of the line era. Yeah, this one just sounds more noisy and clouded. Also, that could be some compression by the fact this is actually, oh, I'm actually, oh, I don't have high, I don't have high bit audio on mine, unfortunately, because it's an older video. This one should be 4K, yes, it is. I don't think I have an old, yeah, yeah, but you can tell a difference if you have ears that can hear, hear it. Um. One is more, one is just more. It's more dynamic, it's more clear. The other one is less dynamic, more, more compressed. Yes, that could be YouTube. I have a way, to, I, if, if I could find the file, I, I, we can do it, we, we can look at that too. So let me look at that while you look at some other videos. But uh, just, to make an easy test, they sound different. And what gets me is not, it, I mean, again, most of his message, most of it, at least some of it, is that, is that everyone is different, and every guitar is different, and that's a good thing, but also his message is, if you can hear tone, get out of here, you suck, I hate you, and I don't like that. Like, literally. Like, literally. I have this response. He said, bye. He doesn't want a fan of his anymore if we they don't agree with him. We all hear different things. But the thing is, is that if you are that clinical about this... I'm not. Then are you a guitar nerd or are you a guitar player? Are you, like... I mean, imagine saying that to an audio tech. I'm sure any audio tech... Who cannot hear that difference, and that I can, and that I could, in a blind test even, show them there is a difference. Would want my ears. Not audio tech, yes, but audio engineer even more. I'm betting you. I'm betting you. If he is right, most audio engineers are not that good. He is, he is claiming audio engineers suck at their job, and some random dude on there at me. Is much is much superior at their job. That guy is saying that to you. I don't say that. I say, I say most song engineers can hear that. They're just not on the internet hearing it, because you hear all you engineers being able to hear things and being really good at hearing things, and they can hear this kind of thing. They they don't go on the internet debating nonsense, because that's just their feel, I guess. A guitar nerd or a music lover? You know, I mean, why are we even here? Like, what are we even doing? We're playing guitar because it's playing guitar. It's having fun. 
And I can't have fun if I enjoy tone. Not tearing apart somebody's tone, right? And so that's why I, I didn't to do to that. And I didn't do that in my comments. That's another one, but I didn't do it in that one either. I so said, why not? Why, why, why are we fighting? What are we fighting for? It's probably going to be the title of this video. Why are we fighting? Why are we fighting? Why is there so much hate in the guitar community over tone? Uh, it's an understood concept that everything in an instrument contributes to the tone. It's understood. Why are you saying nothing contributes to the tone? Why? And he's made videos saying this bit contributes to the tone. So what is it? Why the hate against people who enjoy the search for tones? I want to have a six humbucker guitar which I may just make a couple of strings because they're a thousand times cheaper. Or even just with one block, I can just slam two necks together. Like, I can slam a Nick Blank and a Jackson neck together and have my guitar be that. Because I need space! I just need space to mount stuff! Uh, it's not airy, which is not what I want. A block, a chunk, a, a normal guitar body blank would do a lot better, and it'll sound like a big block of wood. You sound deep and rich, uh, depending on the the tone what that is, uh, and yeah. Okay, let me bring out the the thing. Uh, okay, let's look at the flag file. Now we're going VLC. Load up. Now this says War Games. Now this is War Games, and I haven't muted of course. Where's my cursor? Yeah, yeah, it sounds it sounds less compressed because it is less compressed. It's a flag file. Now let's bring up the new boy, which I need to put in this folder anyway. A good thing I brought this up. I, I feel good about this video now. I, I think it's other other works in the high there, by the way. In case you can't tell already. Uh, you're listening for the Roland, and I guess also the, uh, I guess also the Game Boy and the other thing, which haven't changed, they're just going to be on different computers. The Game Boy and the NES. Which again, if Tundra doesn't exist, why does the NES sound different than the Game Boy? They're both 8-bit. Now, so, oh, we don't want Zolian Dinky, that just has me playing the Dinky. Yeah, it has ambient. Yeah, it's different! They're both flag files. Let me confirm. Let me confirm. Let me confirm. Uh, is this a flag on the screen? Oh, it's a WAV file. Oh, no. All oh, right. I, I am stupid. I, I, no, it's a WAV file. But it's way less compressed uh, than the flag file. Because it's on, it's on an even more expensive computer. I mean, it's on a cheaper computer that's just newer. It sounds less compressed. Go with your first reaction, you dummy. It sounds less compressed. On a compressed, on a more compressed format. Why? Because it's on a different computer with, even with the same software. I was using Waveform Free on both of them. And I was using, and I was using, uh, World in Cloud and Social Labs, uh, Amp Sims, uh, not Amp Sims, but the other Sims, the fun Sims. Uh, let me find, let me find, let me find, let me find, where in the world would it be? Oh, it needs to be in documents, right? Wait, that was a WAV file, my word. That was a WAV file, my word. That's one flag. One flag all day. Uh, where'd it go? He ate it. He ate my files. I want my flex file, please. Thank you. Oh, that's on Windows. Oh, that's on Windows Audio Player. We don't want that in all sense. We don't want that one either. We don't want that one either. Yeah. Oh, that's so good.
it's so clear. Like, it's unbelievably clear. I am listening with my Harder 600s, by the way. You're listening to whatever, whatever, whatever. You're listening through whatever device you're using and then what throw or what speakers or headphones or what, what have you you're using. Uh, and you're also listening on whatever connection you're using on whatever resolution you're using through YouTube, which is compressed anyway. I do have, I do have my, I do have my, uh, those files, those files up for download. So you can try them for yourself. And they will be what I, what we heard today, just flack. Not, uh, just flack, not, uh, just flack, not anything else. Oh, whoops, that's not the way you want. Just flack, not nothing else. All the flack, you get nothing else. Whoops, that's not what you want. What do we want? What do we want today? We want this one. I love what Jim did here because this is literally... For all intents and purposes, for normal people, which is 99.9% .9 of people who listen Oh, we're to not normal then. Oh, good, that's that good. Except one guitar nerd who's trying to check out your pedal board and look down on you for the type of gear that you play. 99 uh, you also just called 100% of guitar... I shouldn't say that. You also called most guitar people guitar nerds. Uh, I don't know how true that is. Elvis was not a guitar nerd. Elvis played whatever whatever people gave him. They just happened to be Gibsons. Uh, but like people like most most people, even as little as a few, like to have something of their music idols. Mine is Kaplachi from from Command and Conquer Fame. Yours could be whatever. People like Slash. They make Gibson makes tons of money from Flash fans who want to chase that town of Slash. He's saying, you're a nerd. You're a nerd. You're not a rock star. You're not like Slash. You're a nerd. You judge Slash for his guitar. How dare you? You nerd. 99.9% .9 of people will watch his video and go, oh yeah, it sounds great. It's fine. I'm kind of in that camp. Because not sure, because I am too, I but I can hear tone. Not because I couldn't pick it apart if I wanted to, but because of what's important. Um, so what is important? The pickup is massive to the sound of a guitar. One so is the wood. So is literally everything. Above that even, before you ever replace pickups, we're talking about pickup height and making sure that it's adjusted to your liking to get the temp tone you want. Chance uh... Uh, that, that's going to be the next bit. Hold on. This is our you'll get mostly there with just that. The guitar setup. If the guitars were set up completely differently, like the Strat neck versus the Tele neck, then it would have been terrible and the guitar would have sounded terrible and that wasn't. F you. I'm a Jackson fan. All our stuff is set up as Jackson's. <laughs> as perfectly as possible. Uh, I mean. That's not exactly fair. The bottom, the bottom four, the bottom three are set up mid. They're very mid, uh, but they're set up perfectly. And he's saying, "Oh, oh, you enjoy having high action on your on your metal shredding nonsense? F you, mother m mother effer. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve being our community. You, I hate you." even a relevant test because you, do you want it do you want do you, do you want low action with jumble frets on your classic vintage guitar you pulled out of a dumpster with the old wood that's glorious by the way or old wood is glorious just by, just in general it, it changes the sound of whatever wood it is because not only was it from an old an old growth forest but it's been on this planet for a very long time so getting old wood is expensive for a reason there's not like he doesn't understand the the challenge it is to find old wood at a good at a price you want old wood to be at for 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 my project. If you wanted to fix up a guitar, restore it even, sure, old wood at any price makes sense. But one hundred twenty one hundred twenty dollars for eight dollars shipping for a rel for a relic, I just want to tear apart. And would I even want to tear it apart because it's old wood? I, do I want to waste the wood or do I just want to restore it to new? I would rather restore it to new than, uh, than take a Dremel to it and just Dremel out a sex a humbucker pocket.
I, I would rather I would rather just not have that one. And that's the problem I'm finding is guitars are expensive. <laughs> His guitars are expensive, and they they hold and the guitars I like hold their value. So if I take a Dremel to it and cut out pockets for the for my for my uh, for my for my pickups. Which I may not be needed to by this guy. He he does have good information sometimes, I promise. So he is he is a fine channel to watch. I do enjoy his other work, but man, man, this video is a wreck. A wreck of his. Wasn't right. Setup, pickup, pickup height, and pot selection to make sure that you didn't. Yes, because pots contribute more than what the right wrong pick pots and cap and stuff that we talked. 100% the most important things. And the player. And not the wood. I Who mean, needs the wood? The player. The end. Anyway. I want so let's see. He responded because he responded really quickly last time. The guitar nerd. Oh, he did? No, oh, he did. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much a judge of his personality. Um, in more ways than this one video is. I mean, you shouldn't judge a guy on a video he made two years ago, but if he comments on your comment, uh, on your criticism, uh, that's a bit more than criticism. That's a bit more than a negative comment, I must admit. Like, just saying bye to a fan, to someone, to someone you say, to someone who said is a fan, as I say, and it's basically calling you out on your nonsense, and you just say bye, and then you, and then he tries to walk it back a bit, and you don't respond in the same manner you responded earlier. You're not a good person. He could have just not responded to the comment. Why did he respond bye? He didn't need to. He didn't need to. He could have just left it alone. I could have cooled off, and then we could have, and I got watch his content more. That happens all the time. Or he could have left a constructive comment that was saying, Oh, I'm sorry I said that's not exactly what I meant. Check the video to see what I meant. And here's some clarifying details of what I meant. Or I'm sorry that was me two years ago. I'm different now. I'm sorry. Please continue watching my videos. I hate people that don't think they can get don't I mean there are people that are big despite having terrible personalities. I don't want to name names, of course, but there are people who are. I mean, we're naming names today, so not as well name names. Um, the uh, not the fix it guy. The, they're cool. Uh, they're cool except for they're not having the best packaging and the best uh, sustainable packaging, which is funny because they do repair. But now, um, the guy with the cat with the chair, guy with the cat with the chair, moved from New York to Texas, who is uh, who who was. Who is championing the uh, who's championing the repair movement? The repair your own thing your own things movement. I said one thing, and he said he called me a strong man and was ins incredibly insulting. Despite him knowing I have watched his videos before and I was a fan of his. Imagine what he, imagine what he would think to people who don't imagine people who only comment once. He has over a million subscribers. He should know better right now. And he's getting negative. Then he's getting negatively reinforced because he's going to continue getting subscribers despite ha despite having anti-community behavior. And it's and a channel like mine who promotes having a positive community promotes having a healthy community, not a positive one by God, uh, but having a but, but having a healthy community where there are a good number of positive, a good number of negative, and a few toxic, because you need some toxics and some phrasers in there too. Like, we have a fine community here, and this guy, well, let's just quickly scroll down the video. I don't think we'll be part of this guy's community either. Not, not on these guys in particular, but they're just not a good community. And this guy he says he talks tone, and he hates people who actually know what tone is. Who actually can hear tone. 
That's an oxymoron. That's a lie. That's a, that's a that's a that's a contradiction. That's not right. So for the last bit, let's look at two guitars with the same everything, but wood, and some other things, but mostly wood. Okay, let's look at the JS11, which is the cheapest, which is the cheapest uh, Jackson. Hey guys, it's Dagan from PMT the UK, and what I have with me today is the bloody amazing Jackson JS11 Dinky. And then him um, six years ago. Oh, they're both from six years ago. Oh, perfect. Mahogany, I present you Mahogany a different bridge. A different bridge, and that's pretty much it. It's Dagan from PMTV UK, and this fine fellow is the Jackson JS32 DKA in natural oil, or oiled natural. It's oiled and it's natural. That's how I like them. Actually, this one isn't mahogany. Straight out the box. And you've got to admit, doesn't she look nice? Often natural finishes are kind of shunned away by awful new shunners. This one, there. I think this one just has a different trim. Maybe black. older body. I think they look banging. The more you play them, the more they get worn in, the more you... Goes into the you say I don't know my words. I admit, I don't know my words. That's why in the intro I played some extreme, because Nino Betancourt's N4 is natural, and it looks nice and badass. You can tell where your arm's going to rest. You can tell where you turn the volume on and off. It's you in a guitar, and you're unique, ain't you? This is a lot of guitar for just under 300 quid. Look at it. It's got a mahogany body with a lovely... No, it is mahogany. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. I was right. Cat. Look at it. A I knew my numbers. A Jackson Floyd Rose-esque tremolo. One volume, one tone, three-way selector for the lovely Jackson high output pickups. Let's try that again from reverse now. This is Mahogany, and practically the same guitar. Same action for sure. And then this is a popular body. It's uh, it's not nearly as deep because it's a lot lighter wood. Like I said, think, like I said, the JS11, the JS12, the JS22 are meant to be mid, as mid as physically possible. Whereas the JS32 and my coming JS40, which you can even do this in person now, I can even check to see if they're right high, if they're the same height. So we'll we'll I'll make a night comment in my unboxing video of the 42 when I'm comparing with my dinky, the both dinkies uh, when I compare it to my JS22, and we'll compare them, we'll compare everything, and one we're going to sound different because of different wood, different wood have different bridges. Does the bridge really matter in this grand scheme of things? More than the pots do. <laughs> I I do have to say the action does matter, but. No, not, not the action, the uh, pickup height does matter, because the closer the pickups are to the strings, the more busy and intense the sound's going to be. Why? Because they're getting more signal. They get more signal straight from, they get more, more and more clearer signal from the strings, because they're closer to them. They can hear every single light vibration better than if they were a mile away from the body, which that's another thing to test. What are the extremes, uh, what are the extremes of, uh, what do the extremes of air guitar sound like? <laughs> because you can do that with air guitar. So, yeah. Which, my advice to beginners, which I am, question mark? Like, I can, pl I can, I can play guitar, I can, I, I, I can play, I can play guitar in a unique way, make my own unique music. But I don't, I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm also perfect pitch, so that helps. I don't know my words. I, I don't know any chords, despite watching videos. I, I, despite watching videos, I, I'm, uh, I don't know them. I, I can do them, but I don't know them. Uh, kind of like a booth saying he can drive a manual, he can drive a manual without a stick. I mean, he can drive a, man, he can drive a stick, 
I'm Emmanuel now, I'm at it. Same thing with me. I, I, I'm a perfect pitch, but I don't know the words. Why? Because I was never trained on the words. I, I have these weird mutant genetics, probably from autism, and apparently my entire family's that way. <laughs> um... And yeah, we all have different tastes and whatnot. It's not like the perfect, not like if you have a perfect pitch, you are this blob of people as much as this guy would like to assume you are. Um, but yeah, like, this kind of shows it off. Like, like Jackson's are built so finely, so close together. I mean, I mean, he didn't actually adjust either differently. Why would he adjust them differently? He's the same player. He, pulled, he, could, he, could, he could easily pull off the wall of his guitar shop and got two different, radically different setups. Why would they sound like they're woods, though? Like, essentially, people like Tone Man here believe there is this grand conspiracy that Gibson went out of business because... Or Gibson was near bankruptcy because reasons and stuff, running out of Tone Wood. The tone wood that people liked, I should mean. They ran out of the old wood. They ran out of the old grove forest wood, I mean. And they started having to get less exotic wood, less old trees. Because we only have new forests on this planet, apparently. Um, nowadays. And, and less and less exotic woods. Or you have to turn to even more exotic woods. Or more, more exotic materials like plastic, like stainless, like stainless steel, like or like aluminum. I don't know why they don't use stainless steel or titanium. That's more exotic than steel drum guitar. But anyway. Would titanium be good for tone, though? Uh, I would say yes, because it will sound extremely deep if you can get tone out of it. If you can get tone out of titanium, I think it will have to be thin. I think it will have to be thin, so it can vibrate. And then it will sound really, really, really deep. Like, it will sound like a steel drum, well, made out of titanium. Um, but I would love to see someone try that. I would love to see someone try a titanium with a guitar. But yeah, no, like, I like I was watching another video by people I do like, by people I do still like, who mentioned, who were, who were like, I can hear a difference. It must just be the look. Yes, because the look, the look matters more than the wood. Um, but to be fair, they were, they were hearing a difference because, you know, they can actually hear a difference. Because their genetics just are more inclined to be that way. They have essentially good enough ears. Even that, even that's even that's not the greatest of language thing. They have good enough ears. It's it, it's good English, but it's not it's not politically correct. In a it's not politically correct kind of. Um, to say that. Um, but yeah. I mean, and this guy, this guy doesn't get into the debate, I don't think. Oh, this is some six years ago. This was before the debate. We never understood Tone Wood was a thing. But anyway, how long has this video been going for an hour? Oh, it's standard length for my videos nowadays. But, you know, like, let's just, let's just get this out of here. You, you can see the titles if you want to go look for them. I'll uh, link in the description to my, uh, to my Google Drive. The music on my Google Drive, where you can find the, uh, where you can find the files if you want to look at them. I, 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 I just want to upload this video and bury it. Because I, I don't feel happy with this one. I feel happier now that I made it. I feel a lot better now that I've vented. And explained why tone would matter. <laughs> and why hating and why hating people is bad. Um, and why hating a group of people is... And why hating a group of people is stupid. I, I'm not going to show this video is like that, but like... Maybe I shouldn't put that in the title because, well... YouTube might not like that. Um... I mean, YouTube are best friends, so I, maybe he, they, they just like they just don't like feeding my channels or anyone. I mean, they do, but like not nearly as much as some other guys who get million subscribers in a year. Uh, but anyway, let's just get this out of here and um, watch Team Ruby plus Sydney dance. This looks really nice on my TV, by the way. So yeah, um, I think, I mean. Like, 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 uh, like Dylan said, the, the guy, the tone man, like Dylan said, the, the toneless man said, um, 
everyone is different. We all hear different things when we hear something. That's true, and and, uh, and that, that's true and it will not be true. But you shouldn't hate on people for enjoying your hobby differently. I enjoy video games different from most people enjoy video games these days. I enjoy it from recording and sharing, sharing with people. I enjoy playing a new game, tearing it apart, looking at what how looking at if it gonna, is it worth it or not, based on a million factors and crumble it down to this and or but, um, and then saying if it's worth it or not, or why or if it is not worth it or is it worth it why. That's what I do. Maybe because I just have an engineering mindset, despite never being able to earn a degree because I'm disabled. I have it on paper now. Uh, for, for that, at least. So, yeah, I, 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 just, I, just, don't, I just don't get it. I, I just don't get why I hate a group of people. Why, why be racist, apparent? Why be racist in actuality? Yes, they all have different. Uh, yes, I know. Most people think of races as skin uh, skin tone. It's it's always been more than that. Racist is hating on a group of people because you believe they're inferior to you. I did report that video for hate uh, for hate speech. Uh, by the way, so we'll see if we get second down now. Let's we'll see if YouTube agrees. But. Yeah, uh, I, 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 like, don't hang around people like that. Not saying, I'm not saying hang around people like me, but don't hang around people like, people who encourage hating other people just because of this end or but, of this end or of the other. Like, it's just not worth it. Like, uh, and another thing, people say it's just this. Like, he was effectively saying, it's just guitar, get over it. But nothing is just that. And there are people that say that, it's just war, it's just politics, it's just life or death, it's just medicine. There are people who say that. If you say that in those three fields, in the medical field, in, in the political field, in, le in the leadership field, I should mean, in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, in the business of war, people hate you for that. You shouldn't say that. So why should you say that about Lego or video games or the big games or, or sports ball or what, what have you? Why, 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 why? It's not worth it. It just isn't worth it. It's okay to be passionate, but it's not okay to hate people for it, which is true. And he was hating people for it. I don't know why. I don't know why he gets gains from this all, from this thing. I don't know why he gets from just saying bye to a loyal subscriber of like a year, a loyal subscriber for like a year or so. But I think, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I commented on his video, so he probably knows I exist. Uh... But like, what what does he gain? What does he gain? He was also looking at the comments on on his phone, or whatever. What does he gain from someone who would rather have a pleasant a pleasant interaction than not? What was he gain by just saying goodbye, or by just saying bye in such a in such a tone? Maybe because he lacks tone wood in his tone. Um. Like, what does he gain? What's he gain from this hate? What does any YouTuber gain from this hate? I I. I don't understand. And yes, I do get angry. Yes, I do get spiteful. Yes, I do get revengey. Yes, I do get all the things. I don't like it, though. I hate that. I hate hate. I hate toxicity. I do hate prayers, too, by the way. Um, Like, I hate the extremes. I prefer anything but the extremes, please. Like, it's okay to hate Nazis, it should also be okay to hate communists. Like, actual full throated the communists, like Marxists and whatnot. Just like, it's okay to like the Italians, but not like the, the Italians and the Japanese, all that's different, uh, than, than the Germans or, or the Hungarians and whatnot. Like, 
and this, uh, look, that's something which I probably don't want to ever get into, but, like, or could get into, but, like, as far as video. Well, not, not the video playing behind you, that's, uh, wallpaper, engine wallpaper. But yeah, no, uh, that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching. No outro today, Geeka. Uh, uh, besides that's the outro. Because I must do that. It is it is a commitment I do. But um, yeah, will this video be monetized? Uh, it's so hard making that decision these days because because if it does well, YouTube is just gonna monetize it anyway. And take it all the money for themselves. So yeah, it's gonna be monetized. So yeah, that'd be the first video. Thanks for watching. Um, I guess just uh, hope, hopefully you learned something from this, and uh, and I hope you um, and I'll, and I hope, and again, it's okay if you don't believe in Tonewood. Um. That's what that's that's fair. If you literally cannot hear the difference, you cannot hear the difference. No amount of studies is gonna make no amount no amount of studies is gonna make a blind man understand what sunlight is, or what color, or a or a colorblind person understand what blue and red is beyond some form of gray. No no amount of telling them that will ever change that. No amount of showing a man how to walk if he has no legs will allow him to walk. Besides augmentation, of course. No amount of, no amount of showing man, no amount of letting, letting someone listen to music with the best equipment in the world is gonna, is going to let is going is a is a black is a deaf man going to be able to hear it. With the augmentation, of course, because you can do that now. Um. And that's just something that a lot of people on the internet don't understand, is, like, yeah, it, it, it's simply that. Like, when, when someone, when someone isn't able to do something, like, I'm disabled from autism, does not mean that they can suddenly do it, because you taught them how to do it. I'm just like from autism. I can't do a lot of things. I can't make friends very easily or, or at all, really. Well, at least not be communicating with them every day for uh, for for a year or so, or even for a month. Um, like no amount of no amount of teaching me how to how to make a long term friend is ever going to allow me to do that. Uh, essentially, the only people I can make a long term friends with are people. Who we just love each other, love each other's brothers or family or whatnot. We we love each other. If you're one of the subscribers of this channel, you'll understand that we're family here. We're family here. That's why getting joked up. We're family here. So, like understanding each other in a way that most people simply do not. For most people, it's just something we do here. And that video really got me angry. It really got me upset. It really got me passionate. Got me frustrated. Got me all that because he just simply does not understand there are some people who are different than he is. Yes, he recorded that video in the middle of Tone with Debate. But he's. But. I made a passionate comment, and he just said bye. He three le three word uh, three letters, and a and and an explanation point, and and that's it. That's how you treat your fans. You probably don't deserve fans then. Man, and please hold me up to that. If I if you make a passionate comment and I just say something stupid, well, I may know that, and I probably would come back. I'll probably come back on my hands and knees and saying, "Oh, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that." And actually explain and actually explain what I meant and do all the things. Because I'm not that way. I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber. If a million if a million subscribers might you that YouTuber, I don't want that. I would rather die from colon cancer than be that kind of guy. I would rather die the hero than become the villain. 
It's just the type of guy I am, the type of human being I am, the type of person. Sorry, I'm crying now, but yeah. How can you really, I mean, you're really passionate. Like, people like that just, don't know how good they have it. 